So we have a new set that is going to be farmable coming to raid. And we're going to talk about that here. As you guys know, the Asgardians are coming to raid Shadow Legends. You can't see it right now as of this recording on the PC, but on the phone that just got updated last night, you can actually see that there's sort of like this bowl type thing. Um, there's an area right here that goes between the Minotaur and the Spider's Den. It's going to be the new dungeon. In the new dungeon, for the Raid Asgard Divide event, you're going to be fighting Odin. Talked about that in my uh, other video. The way it works is... Uh, and this is not confirmed. These, this, this, what I'm about to tell you is just speculation about how this is going to work. Like this is, this is confirmed. This is happening. We're just not entirely sure. But based on the video that I did last night, what I gathered is that, um, yeah, we're fighting Odin, and we're also going to be fighting other champions. I assume it's something very similar to the Dark Fate. I don't know if it's going to be exactly like mirror copies of ourselves. That would make sense. But as you can see, he's got champions here in the back. One, two, three, four, five. On top of fighting him, him, I'm assuming that he's going to have um, champions coming through to fight. So when you do fight him, you're going to be able to... Actually, let me just show you uh, this right here. Sorry, I just want... This is really cool. Look at how uh, buff Odin is. There you go. But let me talk to you about this right here. Okay, so... The event dungeon is a brand new game mechanic aiming at diversifying the player's gaming experience. The event dungeon will be available only during the da, 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 sorry, will be available during the Asgard Divide campaign with, with Odin Feyfather as the dungeon boss. It features 30 normal stages of normal difficulty with difficulty rising each stage. No waves, only a boss battle, so you go straight into the boss fight. But beware, as Odin, Father won't be alone. Joined by mighty warriors, by might warriors, unique for each stage of the dungeon. The event will be available for players level 6 and up, starting on the 21st of August and the 20, uh, ending the 24th of October. So that's how that works. And then... We're going to dive into this part right here. Raiding the event dungeon will unlock its rewards, one of which is a brand new pinpoint set. That's what this is going to be called. Pinpoint set consists of nine pieces by defeating the event dungeons. So I'm going to dive into all of this, but uh, I want to like look at this. Look at this real quick. This is basically like Loki Asgardian themed gear. It's pretty cool, right? And uh, like it's got the green you know synonymous with loki and it's got the gold asgard it's got the jester type uniform looking thing going on got the accessories here all gonna come from the dungeon one piece will grant you plus 20 accuracy that's pretty good two pieces 10 percent speed three piece 20 points of accuracy four piece starts the round with one intercept stack now for those of you who do not know what the intercept stack is we can take a look at wixwell Actually, let me, let me, yeah, let me finish this train of thought first before, uh, I don't have Wixful. I didn't go for him. Is he a dwarf? Where is he? I could have sworn he was a dwarf. Sylvan Marcher? Oh, my bad. He was Sacred Order. Okay. So Wixful has this intercept buff, right? Places two intercept stacks on an ally. And what does intercept do? So for those of you who do not know what intercept does, the intercept buff will block any attempt to place a crowd. Sorry, I gotta take a drink of my whiskey real quick. Place a crowd control debuff on a champion, even if it is specified in the enemy's skill that the debuff itself can't be blocked. This includes stun, sleep, freeze, provoke, fear, true fear, petrification, and sheep. A champion can receive multiple stacks of the intercept buff. Each intercept stack will block one attempt at placing crowd control debuffs. A champion can receive multiple stacks of intercept buff. Each intercept stack will block one attempt at placing a crowd control debuff. After the attempt, one intercept stack will be removed. The intercept buff has no duration and therefore cannot have its uh, duration increased or decreased. The intercept buff also cannot be spread to ally champions. If a crowd control debuff is placed on a champion that has an intercept stack and the block, oh, and the block debuff buff, an intercept stack will not be removed. However, basically, guys, 
This will prevent shit from happening to your champion if you can get intercept on them, okay? So, for one instance, you won't get stunned if somebody tries to stun you. You won't get frozen. If Armand tries to provoke one of your champions and um, Taurus has, uh, what do you call it, uh, intercept buff on him, it's not going to happen. Instead, the intercept buff will take that and prevent you from getting stunned or sheeped. Another 10% for five pieces. At six pieces, you have two intercept stacks. Seven pieces gives you 20 accuracy points. And then eight pieces gives you a total of 12. So, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. So, oh, and then the ninth piece gives you four intercept stacks. So here we have in total, if you were going to get a nine piece, you have, oh, it says it right here, 60 points of extra accuracy, as well as plus 32% speed, and then up to four intercept buffs that stack at the beginning of the round. Now, this is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. The biggest thing for me that I really like about this is that one piece is still going to give you 20 points of accuracy. Even having an offset piece is going to have you benefiting in a great way. You know, for, for contrast, if you're looking at accuracy or even perception, where's perception? And for reference, a perception set requires you to have two artifacts equipped. Same thing with an accuracy set. But it's nice having the option to have a really good offset piece or just one filler piece so that you're not exactly wasting your sets. It, I like seeing one piece um, no Luffy gear sets because you can, you know, benefit from it. So, you know, even even having one, two, you get extra speed, extra accuracy. I like it. I think it's a really good addition to the uh, to the game here because, you know, you can mix and match a lot better. And again, you're only going to be able to get this from doing the uh, upcoming dungeon. We still have no word on how difficult it's going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to be difficult. So it says... 30 stages, normal difficulty. It says each difficulty rising each stage. So I don't know if there's going to be like two separate things. It doesn't sound like from what I'm reading. Like I don't think there's going to be a normal and then hard difficulty. I think it just progresses on normal level with each stage. So, you know, maybe like the first 10 stages are going to be really easy. Uh, 10 to 20 is going to be kind of hard and uh, 20 to 30 is probably just going to smack you in the face, kind of like the northern part of Cintranos. And I like other types of uh, One Piece gears, by the way, like uh, protection, like you get plus 20 res, stone skin, you get plus 8% HP, like you're getting something even if you're just have, if you're having, even if you're just having one specific thing, like you get uh, extra res from supersonic gear, merciless gives you extra 10% attack, that's pretty cool, slayer, gives you uh, extra crit rate and then you know the feral set that's coming from the siege event is giving you even actually that's crazy even one piece from feral gives you extra 40 two pieces only gives you five percent but isn't this the same thing as just having a set of perception on for feral feral gear plus 40% plus 40 points of accuracy plus 5% plus 40 points of accuracy plus 5 this is the same thing <laughs> that's crazy although the third by the third time you're you're not it's not the same thing so that that's that's interesting but yeah who is going to be using pinpoint gear basically anybody who places debuffs right so like adeline places uh sleep she does need accuracy lydia places these debuffs these debuffs you need accuracy um sheep requires accuracy yeah he requires accuracy the stun requires accuracy unless you have a champion that doesn't require accuracy and it says this debuff cannot be resisted this debuff cannot be resisted then you're not going to need any accuracy but basically anybody who has any any um inkling of a need for placing debuffs is gonna get the um what do you call it a pinpoint set at least for me if i can make it work then i'm and i need like extra accuracy that's that's what i'm gonna end up trying to do look i said i'm young and rich hold this snitch while i fuck your witch